Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital, and in this video I'll be comparing DraftPit and Flutterflow. These two platforms have been gaining significant traction in the app development world, but how do they compare? Which one is user-friendly, cost-effective, and offers better customer support? So, whether you're a seasoned developer or a creative mind with an excellent app idea, stay tuned as I uncover which platform could be your ideal match. DraftBit is a no-code platform that empowers users to build custom native apps from a single visual interface. It provides real-time updates, an intuitive interface, and an extensive collection of pre-built components that make app development a breeze for both developers and non-developers. On the other hand, Flutterflow is a robust, no-code app development platform that allows users to bring their app ideas to life without writing a single line of code. Its key features include widget animations, push notifications, Firestore query action, sticky header widget, and audio recording, among others. It allows users to build fully functional apps with Firebase integration, API support, and much more. Both DraftBit and Flutterflow offer a variety of features designed to help users create their ideal app. DraftBit stands out with its live preview feature, which allows you to see changes as you make them. It also provides an extensive library of pre-built components and allows for third-party integrations, making it easier to extend your app's functionality. Flutterflow, on the other hand, impresses with its drag-and-drop user interface and Firebase integration. It also provides sample applications, downloadable Android package kits, APKs, team collaboration tools, and a drag-and-drop visual interface. In terms of user-friendliness, both DraftBit and Flutterflow have made it a priority to provide an intuitive, easy-to-navigate interface. DraftBit's live preview feature makes it easy for users to see the impact of their changes in real time, making the app development process smoother and more efficient. Flutterflow also offers a user-friendly experience with its drag-and-drop feature. Users can easily select components, drop them into their app, and customize them as needed. When it comes to pricing, both DraftBit and Flutterflow offer different plans to cater to different needs. DraftBit offers four plans, which include a free plan, a basic plan priced at $29 per month, a pro plan at $79 per month, and a team plan that costs $249 per month. Each plan has its unique features and is designed to accommodate the different requirements of users. Flutterflow also offers four distinct plans. The first one is a free plan with no monthly cost. Following that is the standard plan, which is available at a cost of $30 per month. The pro plan, priced at $70 per month, offers additional features. Lastly, there's the Teams plan, which is also priced at $70 per month and caters to team-based projects. It's worth noting that while both platforms offer free trials, the features available in these trials may be limited. It's important to check what each plan includes before making a decision. Also, good customer support is crucial in enhancing a user's experience, and both DraftBit and Flutterflow understand this. They both offer robust customer support with various channels available for users to get help when they need it. With that being said, both DraftBit and Flutterflow are robust, no-code platforms, each catering to different users' needs and skill levels. Choosing the right platform ultimately depends on your specific needs, budget, and comfort level with the platform. Therefore, it's recommended to test both platforms to see which one best suits your requirements. To get started, simply sign up using the links provided in the video description. Thank you for considering this option. I hope you found this video useful and learned something new. If so, please give it a thumbs up to show your appreciation. If you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching and take care.